Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a really fun video. I tried filming this multiple times yesterday and I don't know what it was but I kept coughing and it was just off and I didn't have all the information gathered. So I did take some time to write everything down for you guys. This video is going to be scary for some of you but basically what I did is I do a spin-off, not really a spin-off, I basically copy Samantha March, who is a fellow YouTuber. She does a series every week called the Will I Buy It series where she talks about four items that are launching and whether she is planning on picking them up or not. And I've done a few of those videos. I'll link my playlist down below. But I thought it would be really fun to do like an eyeshadow palette edition. And I feel like there are so many eyeshadow palettes coming out, especially for the holidays. And just like crazy palettes. Like palette after palette after palette so I wrote down palettes like 23 eyeshadow palettes that I know of that are coming out in the next couple of days or have already launched some of them I have purchased or I'm planning on purchasing some of them I am planning on completely avoiding but I thought it would be fun for me to talk to you guys about some of these palettes I'll throw pictures up from the trend mood Instagram page as well for you guys and I just thought it'd be really fun if we calculated the whopping total of these palettes. I just thought it would be so much fun if we did a like a, um, a tally. If you were to buy 20 these 23 palettes that are coming out basically in the next month or are already out like came out at the end of September, we're gonna find out how much money you would spend and I just thought it would be really interesting. Probably a little mind blowing. So if you guys are interested in that, just keep watching. Also, really quick shameless plug, if you are new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe down below. I upload every other day so you do get quite a bit of content from me and I would love it if you guys would subscribe to my channel. Also check me out on Instagram, I'm way, way, way more inter interactive on Instagram. My handle is Karen Harris Makeup, and I have just been talking to so many followers um, the last couple of days, it's been so fun. Um, because I did that giveaway last month and some of the winners I've gotten a chance to talk to and I'm just so excited because I told one of them I'm a huge makeup junkie and I don't feel like my friends are at my level as far as how much I love makeup or at least nobody in like close vicinity to me so anytime I can make friends that love to talk about makeup with no judgments or questioning I get so pumped anyway this video is gonna be super long, so grab a snack, grab a drink, and saddle up, bitches, because we are spending way too much money on makeup this month. So the first palette I want to talk about is the Ciate London Chloe Morello palette. Now, this is part two of their collab. They came out with a palette last year. If you don't watch Makeup Struggles, she is a YouTuber as well. Her channel is so flipping funny. I'll go ahead and link it down below. I love watching her anti-hauls. I just love watching her talk because she swears like a truck driver and it's awesome. So if you're old enough to watch her content, definitely go ahead and check that out. Anyway, she loves the Ciate London Chloe Morello Part 1 palette. And I feel like that girl is definitely hard to please. So if she likes it, I have a feeling I will like it. But... I'm not planning on picking this up because I'm trying to be really conscientious of what I am buying. Especially with Christmas coming, I got a budget and the VIB sale is going to be here before we know it and I'm going to be completely unprepared. So I'm trying really hard to scale back on the makeup purchase. If you haven't seen my makeup addictions video, I will go ahead and link it up in the cards. I basically told you guys that I'm going to be gonna try and be more thoughtful about my purchases so I will be passing on this one it does contain 20 shades and launch on 1003 so it's already out on sephora.com I think the shades are beautiful the pinks really speak to me I tell you guys on Instagram stories all the time how I feel like pink shades are really flattering with my skin tone but I just don't need this palette and so I won't be buying this palette the next set of palettes that are coming out pretty soon here are the Colored Rain Mini Palettes. Now, these are 36 bucks a piece and they are available for pre-order. I was really tempted to get the bundle. So let's put the bundle price in here in case, you know, just to soften the blow. The bundle price is $140. The palettes, if you buy them individually, are $36 a piece. They come with six eyeshadows in each palette and they're very cute. There's 
beauty first and then there's lovelies and then one called smoke show i'll throw pictures up somewhere around here and like i said they are available for pre-order now and they will ship 10 20. now i was pretty tempted to get the bundle but i will not wear the cool tone shadows i already know that so i just bought the two individual some warm shadow palettes because i love colored rain you guys i have the queen of hearts palette and that is probably my all-time favorite palette and I just wanted more from them. I've been waiting for a new launch and I'm really excited that they're coming out with more but $36 for six eyeshadows is honestly ridiculous and I'm really mad at myself for doing that to myself especially because they are probably going to go on sale really soon here. I just picked up the color drain the 96 single shadow like that Z palette and I literally bought it for $45 and the next week it was 40% off for $27. I was so pissed. I literally emailed them and they never got back to me, which I'm really disappointed about. I probably won't buy anything from Colored Brain after these mini palettes unless they come out with something really amazing. I was just really bummed that they didn't even reach out to me and just like explain why they couldn't refund me that amount, you know? I just think it's really whack that they launched something and then it was on sale like two, three weeks later. So um, next palette is the Storybook Cosmetics. Now they already came out with the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory palette. That's already out. You can buy that on their website for $55. So we're gonna go ahead and add $55. And then on November 1st, they're coming out with the Mean Girls Burn Book palette, which let's say is also going to be $55. Coming soon is the Dragon Fire palette. Now that let's also assume is $55. I don't know what it is. I love all the stuff. Like I love Mean Girls so much, but I don't really want a Mean Girls palette. Like that's not really makeup to me. That's like a gimmick. They've been talking about like the, the rose brushes and then they did like a Harry Potter inspired palette. And like, I love all that stuff. Like I love Harry Potter, but I'm not gonna buy a Harry Potter inspired makeup palette. Like those things are not connected to me. So I just feel like Storybook Cosmetics, honestly guys, let me know in the comments if you've tried them and you think they're any good because to me it just seems like a huge gimmick and they're just like tugging at our heartstrings. So because of that, I'm not purchasing any of these palettes, but if you guys are, again, let me know down below. Next palette I want to talk about is the Marc Jacobs Beauty, the Wild One Iconic Eyeshadow Palette. Now this is their holiday palette. This is the third one they've come out with. They've come out with two previously, of course, last year and the year before, and I've skipped it every time. This palette is $99. Honestly, I think this is my least favorite of all of that they've come out with previously. I don't like the color theory here. It's like very mumbled. Kind of reminds me a little bit of the Saints and Sinners palette. Basically $100 like they stopped at 99 like I don't know why they stopped at 99 they should have just charged you $100 it's so weird like is it like a marketing thing where you associate 99 being cheaper than 100 so they went with that lower amount just to like dupe you you know I don't know maybe they did I really want one of those like color icon like those skinny palettes from Marc Jacobs there's one that I really want and Marc Jacobs is doing their friends and family sale right now where everything is 20% off on their website but you have to pay for shipping so you basically end up paying what you're saving for shipping so I'm like fuck that I'm just gonna wait for the VIB sale so that's another story for another day I'm not buying this $99 eyeshadow palette I it just doesn't speak to me so I cannot justify it next palette I want to talk about is the Besame Cosmetics Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs palette now this is in celebration of their 80th anniversary the movie the original movie contains 20 shades and they're all matte shades I don't really love Disney movies I don't know if it's like an age thing but thinking back to when I was younger I wasn't really ever a huge fan of the Disney princesses like not even Jasmine like she did nothing for me I always thought they were super sad like the Lion King made me cry and I never watched it again I've seen it one time and I was so depressed by Lion King that I refused to rewatch it so Disney doesn't really have like a special place in my heart like it does for most people now I do love Beauty and the Beast that's one of my favorite like shows musicals I love the new movie that they came out with and I did pick up the Lorac palette but I actually returned it. I didn't even end up swatching it for my channel because the colors were just not inspiring and I kind of see the resemblance between that one and the Snow White palette. Now I've never tried Besame Cosmetics and I don't think this palette is out yet but if you guys end up getting it definitely let me know what you think because 
I personally have no interest in the Snow White and the Seven Dwarves palette. Next palette I want to talk to you guys about is the Instant Eye Palette. Now this is by Charlotte Tilbury and you guys, I don't know what it is about Charlotte Tilbury, but I feel like all her products are made for white girls, which is not true, but in my mind that's just how I feel. I just don't feel any connection to that brand. Does it inspire me to buy anything? I did buy one of the instant look in a palette Nordstrom sales and I thought it was really shitty so I immediately returned it because her palettes are expensive. Her makeup is expensive and this eye palette looks so basic and it cost a whopping $75 which I think is flipping ridiculous and it's currently available on beautylish.com but I don't know who would want to pick this palette up for $75. I feel like if you want something this basic, just buy any of the naked palettes. Don't spend $75 to get the Charlotte Tilbury palette. I would love to get my hands on it just to swatch it because I really think the pigmentation is not going to be that great on that palette, but I just can't get over how expensive that palette is and I have absolutely no intention of picking it up and do not fall for that packaging, okay? That packaging is not worth $75 and to have it sit in your collection and do nothing. So don't buy it. Don't buy it for the packaging. Definitely do not buy it for the packaging because that gold packaging is not worth it at all, honey. Okay. Next palette I want to talk to you guys about. I did talk about this in the Will I Buy It video I did last. I talked about the whole collection, but Fenty Beauty is coming out with their Galaxy palette on 1013, which is October 13th, Friday the 13th they're launching that whole galaxy line and it honestly looks really cool the palette itself the palette itself reminds me a lot of the troublemaker mascara by urban decay that packaging is very very similar and i have a feeling this is totally going to sell out because everybody is loving rihanna right now i think it's cool i'm so happy for that line i think the foundation is great everyone's been complimenting me on it in my videos and stuff like that it's the one i have on right now i love fenty i think it's it's a great brand they're off to a solid start I don't know how much the palette is but I'm gonna guess based off our price point that it's gonna be about $40 I think it's a great palette I think it looks beautiful I did see Desi's video where she previewed the whole collection I just don't need another all glitter palette I just don't I have the moon dust palette I just bought the Huda palette that has those three like metallic shades that can be used as toppers those are gorgeous. The Moon Dust palette is gorgeous. I don't need any more glitter. I have those Stila Liquid Metals glitter in a bottle situations. So I don't need any glitter. So I will not be picking up that palette. I want to talk about is the Laura Lee Los Angeles palette. Now, I used to follow Laura Lee a long, long time ago when she wasn't as big. And I used to love her personality. She was really laid back. She really celebrated her uniqueness. And not to say that she doesn't anymore but I really felt like there was a change once she moved to LA and once she got really big and once she started hanging out with like the Jeffree Stars and nannies of the world um, they just kind of live life differently and that's okay I'm happy for them good for them but as far as this palette goes honey I do not want it nor do I need it it's a $40 palette and it has 10 shades they are the most basic eyeshadow shades you could ever imagine now, if you are a Laura Lee fan, I would not fault you for buying this palette. But if you guys want a cheap dupe, I think the Melissa Michelle palette that is a collab she did with Ulta reminds me so much of the Laura Lee palette. I think it has everything you need. Plus, it comes with a liquid lipstick and a blush and a highlighter, and that's a $20 palette. If you pick it up full price, usually Ulta always has a sale, so I think you can definitely get it for a lot cheaper, and the pigmentation on that palette is off the chart. So that's just my story. I just think she could have done something a little bit more unique because Laura is all about being unique. Like, she is a quirky, weird-ass person, and that's totally fine, but I feel like you're, you know, you talk about being so quirky and like all the names are so weird and wacky, but then you give us like the most basic eyeshadow palette, like that blows my mind. That really blows my mind. So, okay guys, the next palette I want to talk about is the NARS X Man Ray collection. Now there is, I think, two eyeshadow palettes in this collection. I couldn't find a ton of information. I did see one was called Love Game, and there was definitely another one in the PR pictures. So I will insert those photos 
up in the corner. I don't know, I've talked about this before. I've purchased a few NARS palettes in my day and I don't think I have any of them in my collection because I just don't love the quality of their shadows and I think they're so expensive. Even their face palettes I don't think are as good as their individual palettes. So my personal opinion is I love the brand NARS but if you want something from them you're definitely better off with the individual shadows instead of picking up like their full size like shadow palettes. So I would be pretty cautious about picking up the Manta Ray palette, the eyeshadow palette, because I just don't feel like it would be a good fit in my particular eyeshadow collection. I'm not really into smoky jewel tone shades and if I ever needed one I feel like I have so many so I will definitely be passing on that. The next palettes I want to talk about are the Nick Love You So Mochi palettes. It looks like they're coming out with like three palettes I believe and they each come with 10 shades and they're very pastel-y, very cheapy looking and to top it all off, they cost $20 a piece. I don't know if they're available yet. I think I saw them like sneak peeked on Treadmoon's Instagram account and I just didn't really think anything of them. I've tried a few NYX eyeshadow palettes but I really don't like the quality and I feel like for 20 bucks, I don't know, I just, I, I just don't like their shadows. There are some other really great products by NYX like their single prismatic eyeshadows those are really good but i haven't bought anything from nyx in a long long time if you're balling on a budget i would definitely recommend the brand checking out some of their blushes some of their eyeliners are really beautiful and they have some beautiful bronzers as well and i also use their foundation mixers those are really nice but as far as their eyeshadow palettes go they're hit or miss like some of the shades are really pigmented and buttery most of the shades just feel dry and very kind of cheaply made so because of that reason I will not be picking up those NYX palettes. Okay so the next palette I want to talk about is the NARS Christopher Kane palette and this palette is actually only available in the UK and it retails for £34 but this palette is basically full of the NARS Hardwire eyeshadows. Now I did buy one of those when they first launched and they basically are like the Urban Decay Moon Dash shadows except they cost a lot more. So I did end up returning the shade I bought because again I don't really need to buy singles of glitters because I have so many options already in my makeup collection. So I will be passing on that. I really don't think you guys should have FOMO on that palette because if you really want to try the Hardwire shades definitely check out the individuals. You can do that. Nobody really needs this many glitters in their collection. You probably already have half of these shades in your in your eyeshadow collection. So just keep that in mind. Don't feel too bad about yourselves. Next palette I want to talk about is the Violet Voss Rainbow Palette. Now this launches tomorrow at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time and it'll be $30. Now two reasons I'm not buying this palette is because I pretty much have every Violet Voss I showed a palette that's already been out. Second reason is because I don't need these colors. I'm not a big wearer of colorful eyeshadows. I feel like the Jaclyn Hill palette has all the color I need. I have the Moschino Bear right there. If I ever need crazy colors, I can dip into that. I have the Electric palette literally all colorful palettes i have that on lock so i don't need any more colorful shadow palettes and i am not planning on buying it now if you don't have anything like this i would say the violet boss formula is wonderful you're probably really going to enjoy these the swatches look brilliant but in my personal opinion i don't need it so i will not be purchasing that now the next palette i want to talk to you guys about is a good one i think this was announced right after i filmed my last will i buy it video and the palette i want to talk to you guys about is the morphe 3502 palette now morphe came out with the 350 palette about two years ago made a huge splash i have a review i will link it up in the cards if you guys are interested then they came out with the 35 350 matte palette and the 350 shimmer palette so they have really drawn this 350 situation out and now they're coming out with a part two which basically looks well, not it doesn't look like the original but it has a few different shades 
and I mean Morphe's affordable so I'm not gonna knock them for that this palette launches 10 12 and you can get 10% off if you use a code from one of their affiliates and I believe this palette is gonna be about 23 it's like 22 something dollars now Morphe does charge for shipping unless you spend $75 so you're looking at about $30 for this palette which I don't think is terrible I think if you don't have any other eyeshadow palettes you can definitely check this out now be warned they don't use the best quality ingredients in their eyeshadows so if you have allergies I would definitely check the ingredients list because I've definitely heard from a few people that they've had crazy allergic reactions using the Morphe formula I personally have not experienced that so it doesn't bother me but if you are easily irritated by not so good eyeshadow formulas I would definitely caution you but yeah I think it's a beautiful palette it's gonna be really hard for me to say no to it but I don't need it so I will not be buying that palette also fun fact I just saw I think it was announced like last night or today that Morphe is gonna be sold at Ulta like that's insane so we knew it was kind of coming because there are rumors everywhere all the gossip channels were talking about it and now it's confirmed as far as I know because Trend Mood 1 posted on her Instagram page about it so if you guys have been hesitating to try Morphe maybe even just wait until they come to Ulta because that way if you buy something and you don't like it you can just return it plus you don't have to buy $75 worth of stuff which I think is ridiculous for free shipping like I think everyone should have free shipping they're already making money on the makeup there's no reason to charge for shipping you know what I mean okay I've been basically stopping and starting filming this palette video so many times because it's so long and we're more than halfway through so Let's talk about the Natasha Denona Holiday 2017 Two Limited Edition Eyeshadow Palettes. Now, those are going to be $48 each and they launch tomorrow as well on Sephora and Beautylish. There's two shades. There's Joya, which is the red tone one, and Aries, which is the cool tone, like, bluish one. Now, I'm really, really attracted to these colors. I'm not going to lie. But you guys, I have never enjoyed a palette from Natasha Denona that I've purchased, which is very disappointing, but also good in a way because they're really expensive. $48 for five shades. It's basically $10 in eyeshadow. And Mama ain't got that kind of money to be splurging on. Like, I really don't mind spending like $40 to $50 on like a 12 to 15 pan shadow palette. But when you're only getting five, I don't necessarily care how much quantity you're getting. More so about shade selection and whether it's wearable, whether it's worth the money for me. And I'm not a professional makeup artist yet, so I really don't need this much product. And these palettes have a very short shelf life, so you better be using it every day, otherwise they're pretty much going to go bad before you get through them. So. Next, I want to talk about the Viseart Pro Palette. Now, this is basically a palette that is for pro makeup artists. Now, most of you probably had never heard of Viseart until they kind of started getting into YouTube and stuff like that, and then they really kind of blew up. They are so, so well known for their matte shades, and this palette is exactly what they are known for. It's all of their you know very well loved matte shades um it's there's no shimmer shades in this palette so six of the shades are repeats from previous palettes and then 24 all new shades i really like what this brand stands for they are very much rooted in the world of professional makeup artist artistry and I watched Stephanie Nicole's video and that was so educational. I love that they do those sit downs with her and I think more brands should really kind of take steps to do stuff like that just to educate their customer and explain the thought process behind all these palettes. Now this palette is a whopping $175 which is personally why I won't be picking it up. That is way over my budget for an eyeshadow palette and I will never get through these eyeshadow palettes. I already have three all matte Viseart palettes and I also did pick up the Golden Hour palette. So I just don't need any new Viseart palettes. If you've never tried the brand or you're trying to be a professional makeup artist, definitely go ahead and try and pick it up with your pro discount. It will be $140 if you are a pro makeup artist, which I think since this palette is going to be one of the staples in your kit is not a bad idea at all. 
Plus, all these shadows can be depotted, so if you want to mix and match with other Viseart palettes, you can basically customize your own eyeshadow palette, which I think is wonderful. Another thing I did learn from that Stephanie Nicole video was their reasoning behind doing just all mattes or like all of their palettes are usually all shimmer or all mattes, the pro palettes. And the reason she explained was because if you are if you're actually working on like TV or like a movie set, um, just one glitter getting transferred into a matte shadow, it may pick up on camera, it might throw off the lighting, and that totally makes sense to me because in your day-to-day -day life, it doesn't really matter if one sparkle gets in there, nobody's ass is going to get chewed out, but if you're working on a million dollar movie project or you're doing makeup for a fashion show and the look is all matte and one sparkle gets in there, it could really, you know, stand out under all those bright lights and photography and things like that. So I definitely think, you know, this brand definitely knows their customer, knows their audience. They really cater to that pro market. Basically, it's a pro world and us regular consumers just kind of live in it as far as Viseart goes. And I'm okay with that. You guys need to understand with this palette, they are not targeting the regular person. With the Golden Hour palette, they are targeting the regular person. That's very easy to understand palette. There's nine shades. There's a mix of mattes and shimmer shades. Um, it's a great on-the-go go palette. They're not trying to do anything fancy with that. They're really trying to bring it to the consumer. So keep that in mind when you're deciding which eyeshadow palette to go with when it comes to Viseart because there is reason behind the madness. You know what I mean? So... Now, the teasers I have seen on the Kat Von D Metal Crush Palette, the packaging definitely is really sucking me in. I have a feeling it's going to be really vibrant, something like the Pastel Goth Palette meets the Moondust Palette, like very shimmery, electric type shade. I'm definitely planning on skipping that palette. I know a lot of people really like her Metal Crush formula. I have the Metal Matte Palette and... Honestly, I don't think it's any better than any other foil shadows like the Makeup Geek foils or the Colored Rain foils. I don't think you're getting anything like, you know, new and unique from Kat Von D by any means. I think there are people that just live and eat and breathe Kat Von D and that's totally okay. So if you're one of those people, you, you probably already have this palette on your radar. The next palette I want to talk about is a collab. This is part two. It's called The Remix with BH Cosmetics Shan XO. She already came out with a palette with BH Cosmetics. It was like a double-sided palette where there's shadows on one side and then there was like lipsticks, I believe, on the other side. Now this is going to be, the Remix palette is going to be 18 new eyeshadows I believe that's what I could tell from the press photos um, BH Cosmetics is pretty freaking affordable so I'll probably put this palette at about $25 I didn't find the price I don't know when it's coming out but let me know if you guys picked up that first palette I didn't I did buy both the Carly Bible palettes the first one and her deluxe palette there was definitely a huge difference in quality when it came to the second palette so I don't know if BH Cosmetics is just trying harder going forward because there is so much competition now with so many other independent brands price is probably a huge competitive factor Actor in the makeup game. I think BH Cosmetics has been one of those brands that's been around for a really, really long time. But with so many new indie brands coming up with really good prices and really good products, I feel like they're trying really hard to compete. And that's okay. There's always room for improvement and I think that's really cool. Next palette I saw teasers of is a Beautylish exclusive. Looks like Charlotte Tilbury is going to be coming out with a palette for them sometime in October and honestly the packaging from the teaser looks like one of those instant look in a palette that's what I was talking about previously when I mentioned the other Charlotte Tilbury palette and that palette was super disappointing it was not POC friendly it didn't work with my skin tone you would definitely have to be a person with a lighter skin tone to use that particular palette that I picked up. She's got two instant look at a palettes. I believe those are limited edition palettes and I don't think they're available anymore. I swiftly returned mine after I tested it out. I thought it was awful. It was definitely not worth the price point. I believe those palettes are usually $65. So I'm gonna guess this palette's gonna be in the $65 range 
or maybe even more. Now, another palette that was recently announced is the Urban Decay Heavy Metals palette. I've been seeing swatches and like press photos of this and Honestly, I'm not impressed. Urban Decay was definitely well known for their metal eyeshadows and I think they have wonderful eyeshadows just in general. I've always been an Urban Decay fan, but I don't know, is this palette really that different? Other than the fact that it's all shimmer and I just feel like it's a bad time to come up with all shimmer palettes because everyone's coming out with a shimmer palette and honestly, yes, I would rather not have repeat shades in a palette because I just filmed my Pat McGrath eyeshadow palette swatch video and there is a black in every single one of those palettes and one of my comments was I wish she had included a black in every single palette. I already have a favorite black. I don't need a black in every eyeshadow palette but on the other hand, if you don't have a favorite matte black, you know, you're not going to find that in this palette and you're definitely going to need to use another palette with it. I'm not saying there's something wrong with that. I'm just going to caution you if you are new to makeup or you don't have a huge collection. That's definitely something to keep in mind. Next palette I want to talk to you guys about is the Juvia's Place, the Saharan 2 eyeshadow palette. Now, this one was weird because the first Saharan palette, I believe, had 12 shades and this one only has 9. I believe you can basically pick this up for under $20. You can use the Trend Mood discount code for 10% off and it will officially launch on 1015. I did pre-order it this weekend. I don't know if you can still do that. Definitely check their website and see if you are able to pre-order if you are a fan of Juvia's place. Me personally, I have every single one of their palettes, so I was contemplating not buying this because honestly the shade selection is not me at all. But then I was like, oh, but then my collection is going to have a gap in it, which is really most ridiculous reason to buy an eyeshadow palette. But I'm trying to be good, but you know, Rome wasn't built in a day, guys. I'm not just going to stop buying every eyeshadow palette, okay? I still need to feed the urge and I just wanted to keep my Juvia's Place collection whole. I personally love all of their palettes. Well, okay, I'm lying. I don't love all of their palettes. I feel like their palettes definitely get better with each new palette that launches. Do I use all their palettes all the time? Definitely not. The last few palettes, I think the Magic palette is probably my favorite of all of them. And I love their blush palettes that they came out with, honestly. Those are the only blush palettes I need. And I love that they came out with a lighter version and a darker version to suit multiple skin tones. I thought that was really, really great of them and very inclusive of a small indie brand to do so. Something like that. Okay guys, the next palette I want to talk to you guys about is the ColourPop My Little Pony collab. Now this came out last Thursday, October 5th, and I already picked it up. Of course, you guys know I hoard those ColourPop palettes. They are $16 a piece, honestly worth every penny. I love every single palette from them that I already have. And I know I'm going to love the My Little Pony palette as well. I will have a swatch video of that up tomorrow as soon as I can get that film for you guys um, but yeah I'm so so freaking excited and I love the original My Little Ponies I remember watching that show growing up so I'm so glad that they use the old ponies and not the new ponies because the new ponies look nothing like the old ponies and the old ponies are way cooler than the new ponies <laughs> but yeah 16 bucks honestly you guys people Instagram message me all the time asking me maybe asking me about good eyeshadow palettes and I can't say enough good things about ColourPop. I think price wise, packaging wise, pigmentation wise, availability, like they nail it every single time and they are wonderful. Um, they are available online. They will be launching on Sephora.com. I think they're doing like an exclusive collection end of October, beginning of November. So if you're nervous to buy on their website, feel free to try them out when they launch on Sephora.com. Personally, their products are so, so affordable. You're at worst, you're going to lose out on 30 bucks. So I would totally recommend picking up two of those palettes. Free shipping, it'll come to your house and you're going to have 24 awesome eyeshadows to play with. So 100% recommend the ColourPop pressed eyeshadow palettes and I cannot wait to get my hands on the My Little Pony palette. I have one more palette to talk about. Actually, these are four palettes and they were announced today. Now this is a brand created by Sally Beauty in collaboration with eight beauty influencers and the brand is actually called Cole 
lab. So C O L dash lab. So collab slash collab. Get it? Anyway. So I saw Coffee Break with Danny's video because she's one of the YouTubers I follow that is part of the collab. And she announced that they're coming out with, they're, actually they have a whole range. I did check it out on Sally Beauty. Um, and I really wanted to buy the eyeshadow palettes, but they don't do free shipping until you spend $50. And I didn't really want to get into like getting the whole collection. I'm trying not to buy any more eyeshadows because I pretty much picked up everything I had planned for October. Um, so any cushion I have, I'm going to save in case something weird and unexpected comes up. Um, but right now I have all the palettes I wanted to purchase in the month of October um, or they're on their way to me so I won't be picking up any of these but you guys will definitely have to let me know if you see collab or if you buy collab on Sally Beauty's website the shades do look really beautiful she did say they were super pigmented and stuff of course I always want to see it with my own eyes I don't really obviously take the person that created its word you know it's hard to do that because most people like manipulate the swatches and things like that so I will believe it when I see it but you know there is some promise there and those palettes retail for $14.99 which I think is very affordable they did launch today on Sally Beauty online so definitely check those out and let me know what you guys think okay guys so if you were to buy all of these eyeshadow palettes this would be the grand total I lost track when I was doing the math, so I'm just going to put it on the screen. I'm sure it's an unbelievably ridiculous price. Probably costs more than my mortgage. Let's be honest, it probably does because when I was at like palette number eight, I think we were like really close to my mortgage. So anyway, hopefully you guys found this video useful, kind of gave you reasons why I was picking some of these palettes up, why I wasn't picking some of these palettes up. So let me know in the comments which ones you will be buying, which ones you'll be avoiding. Let me know if there's any palettes I forgot to mention. I really did try to go through Trend Mood 1's Instagram page and find every single palette that I laid my eyes on. So if I missed anything, definitely let me know in the comments down below. I'm going to stop blabbering now. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Bye.